Hey everyone, I'm Kai Down from ML Sound Lab, and today I'm going to be running through the basics of MIDI mapping in our ML Drums plugin. So the first thing we need to establish is your MIDI device. Whether this is a MIDI pad controller, a MIDI keyboard, or an e-kit, the fundamental workings of this remain the same throughout. You need your computer to communicate with the MIDI device. If you're looking to enable your MIDI controller in the ML Drum standalone app, head to Options, Audio slash MIDI Settings, then under Active MIDI Input, select the MIDI input for your controller. For me, this is the Launchpad X LPX MIDI Out. If you're using the ML Drums plugin in your door, this will be under your door's MIDI device settings. One thing I'll mention quickly, if you're using a MIDI pad controller like I've got here, then it may be beneficial for you to remap the pads to your liking based on the ML Drums mapping. You'll see roughly how I've got mine mapped in this video, but if you want a full rundown of how I've got this set up, let me know in the comments section and I'll do a dedicated video on it. To set your own MIDI mapping for the ML Drums plugin, first head over to the MIDI tab and then in the drop down MIDI preset menu, select clear map. This will undo all of the assignments in the plugin and let you really start from scratch. You'll notice that each kit piece has two small record icons next to them. These are your MIDI learn buttons. Click the MIDI learn button followed by the relevant hit on your MIDI controller and it will map it to that note. For instance, if I click the record icon next to the kick drum and then hit this pad here, it will map it to the kick drum. We can do the same for the snare. Then the snare side stick. We'll map the toms. And we've already got most of the MIDI kit built. Once you've done this for the whole kit, you can save your preset using the drop down box at the MIDI menu. If you wish to map a single kit piece to two different MIDI notes, this can be done by using the second column. This is particularly useful if you're looking to separate things like left and right kicks for example. With all of the non-dominant kicks assigned to a separate MIDI note, you're able to adjust the velocities accordingly. If you're coming from another drum library, we have included a few different MIDI presets that should map you somewhere in the ballpark for these though these can vary depending on exactly what packs and kits you're using from these manufacturers. So try and use these as more of a jumping off point and use the previous methods to map where you see any sort of inconsistencies. A somewhat underutilized feature, which I'll throw up on screen now, is using the MIDI learn button with pre-programmed beats in your door. Here I've got an ugly tone beat loaded up and the ML drums map is cleared. Finally, let's talk about some e-kit specific settings. Hi-Hat CC will allow you to adjust the openness of the hi-hat using the pedal rather than the different articulations themselves. On screen, you'll see our drummer Yane configuring the hi-hat CC by using the calibrate function in ML Drums. Simply click the calibrate function, move the hi-hat pedal, then click OK to exit out of it. That's everything that I've got for this video. Please drop a comment if you're still struggling. We will be reading them all and helping if you need it. Thank you for watching. I've been Kai.